Greetings everyone, this is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California, just trying to keep the community informed and local government as honest as possible. In my previous video, we briefly touched on the replacement of Tom Hallinan as the city attorney and looked at the charges for general legal and human resources. At least those parts of the December 2022 invoice that I was allowed to see. In this video, we go over the rest of the invoice. I've mentioned in previous videos that I am not being given redacted copies of the entire invoice. There seems to be some charges that White Brenner does not want you or I to see. We know from City Council meeting agendas that there are multiple litigations that are active at the moment. But that doesn't mean that White Brenner gives me copies of all of the numbers, even in redacted versions that they do send me. In part one of this two-part series about the December invoice, we went over the billing for general municipal and human resources. In this video, we're going to go over the portion containing Public Records Act, Solid Waste, Community Development, Police, and the Gallo Subdivision. For Public Records Act, the main topics seem to revolve around what goes on a copy of the invoice I get and what records can be released from the police department. Here I have items about the police department highlighted in purple and items about the invoice highlighted in yellow. A couple more items about the invoice are here, plus a response for a request for department heads contracts and records related to 483 Joseph Gallo Court, which is where the Subway Sandwich Shop is, which added up to a grand total of $820 for responding to stuff some people want to know. Under solid waste, there's $220 for an item that is totally redacted. Why that would be, I have no clue. Then we move on to community development and several entries relating to the AAA parcel map and an item about general planning matters, code enforcement, and such. In addition to a couple of redactions, why we have redactions in community development is also beyond me. Here we have a couple more redactions along with an item about meeting with the city's contract planner and conferring with the managing partner for a grand total of $2,860 worth of hours billed. In police, we have a $60 charge for reviewing a press release regarding confusion caused by media coverage of Livingston, Texas. There's $450 about the Gallo subdivision. If we add up the totals charged on what I have been given, it adds up to $16,698 rounded. Once this invoice is actually paid, I ought to be able to get a report that will tell me whether or not there was more on that invoice that was given to the city, but not given to me. If you like what I do here, please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. And don't forget the disclaimer. Editorial content and historical recollections are my own as a resident of Livingston and City Council watcher since at least 2007 and does not represent the views and opinions of the City Council or the City of Livingston and does not represent any kind of legal advice.